Okay, I've been watching them life hack things, and I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. So one of them I'm going to give a try is dryer sheets. So hopefully it works. So you have you a, get you a, like a shoe box thing. Boy, they're making them thinner now. I went and bought all of this at the Dollar Tree. So this is where I got everything that I have got here on this table, except for my iron, you know, my everyday thing. Okay, so you have these right here, reusable wipes, and that's what they said to use. So I'm going to give them a try. Now, they said that uh, you have to cut them down, which as, as you see, we have them here. They're, they're real big. But you know what? I think if we, yeah, we'll have to cut them down in the middle. And you know what? I think my rotary cutter would be a whole lot better than a pair of scissors. So, let's get that out. Let's get us a rotary cutter here going. And we'll cut them down. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to cut them at the top. Where, the, where this is, and I'm just going to guess at it, like that, and then we're going to have two of these, and you only use one of these, if you want to use two, you can, but we're going to cut them down, and we're going to put them in there, turn these around so I can get to them easier, I'll just go down the side here, and we'll just flop them in there. I hope this works. We'll find out. I'm just just doing it. I got two bags of these because uh, on the last little while, and you can reuse them. So when you pull it out of your dryer. You can just put them right back into the solution if you have some solution there. And if not, don't worry about it. That's what the, pull them out and let them dry. But I'm not going to let them dry. I'm just going to put them in there. So Because this is generic fabric softener is what I got. And usually I don't use fabric softener. I use the sheets. So this is different for me. We're going to try it out. Okay. Now that we've got all them hacked down. Now I'll do the other later. But I'm going to, what I'm going to do from right here is, oh, get that out of my way. I'm going to pour like half the bottle in there. There we go. Now. I got like half the bottle in this, and then we'll pour it right in there on top of it, like that. Make sure they're all down in there to get all soaking wet and sloppy, and all that good stuff. Dry my hands off. Now I can open that other bag and put it in here. So, we're just going to leave that. Let it soak for a while. Then it says to take them out and let them dry. So I'll do that off camera. And during one of my quilting videos, I'll let you know how good it works. Okay, now that we've got that one taken care of, I found some adhesive spray at the Dollar Tree. So I figured, well, why not try it? So, I'm going to try that. Uh, let's see. I can't. There. I'm running out of spaces. <laughs> okay. The next thing I want to try is the toothpaste on the, on, the, on the iron. So, we're going to give that a try. 
got us some Colgate enamel. We're going to try that. Hey, Mr. Bully. Yeah. yeah. Pretty baby boy. Alright. Here's me a rag, sponge, and all I'm going to do is put it on there, and we're going to give us a try. We're going to see how well it works. Smell the toothpaste, that's for sure. I guess I should have showed it to you. <laughs> kind of late now, ain't it? But, if, the, if the, yours ain't as dirty as mine, it'll probably work better. Mine is pretty dirty. I'm not going to give up on you yet, toothpaste. If I have to use the whole tube, then I'll know if you're good or not. <laughs> Woo-wee. Sure smell it. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and I'm going to let this stuff soak and see if it does any good with soaking. But I've got it all over it. For sure. Alrighty. I'll be back after I let it sit there for a minute. Let's see if it'll, what it looks like. I've got some, let's put a little bit more on it. Let's put some more on it. I mean, it's not going to hurt a thing. It is cleaning it, but where mine is so dirty and all, it's just, you know, it's just horrible. Okay, so if you ask me my opinion on it, yes, it works, but mine is so dirty where I don't take care of it. So, we're going to do this. Another way, and I'm going to put me some gloves on, grab my scarring pad, and I'm going to mess my table up. And it, it's not the toothpaste fault that it's not working. It is because I just don't take care of it like I should. And I'm one to tell you that I, I don't. But yes, it will work. Grab a good old SOS and give it a mark. And I don't think this is going to really work that great either. Okay. But it does look a whole lot better. I'd like to get that right there part a little bit more clean. If I sit here and play with it, it will. Let's see. Try to find a good way to hold it. Okay, I'm going to call it quits on that. And clean up my mess. Now, we have, oh, look how prettier that looks. Almost got it. Okay, to clean out our little holes, we just got good old uh, Q-tips. Works just fine. And we're going to need more to clean it out. Now, I would suggest... Before you put it on any of your clothes or material and all, to put your water back in it 
and uh, let it spurt out for a minute. You know, keep spurting it out for a little bit and get the toothpaste out of it. If there's any more it got down inside of it that you can't get out. Or else you can get a toothpick and get in there and get it. But I wouldn't do all that. I'm just going to fill it full of water, let it heat up, and spurt it out. That right there pretty well much gets it. Looking pretty good. Hey, I got all these Q-tips here. I might as well use them up. Because I won't put them back in the ca uh, cabinet, uh, the thing, whenever I you get them, pull them out. Just in case they need to be sterilized for whoever needs them. Oh yeah, that's getting it good. Down in there. I got two more to go. Let's give it a one more once over. But it does look a whole lot better than it did. Well, I'm happy with it. Looks better than it did. By far. So, I'm going to put some water in it, heat it up, and then squirt it out. But yes, I would I would say that the toothpaste does work. So, if I see any more that I'm interested in, I'll let you know. If you like these, let me know. I'll do more of them. So, I will see you later on that quilt. Oh, no. It's, yeah, there it goes. See the steam coming out of it? Oh, I hope so. It has a smell. I think it's leaking where I put, had just put water in it. So, it'll be alright. It does look a whole lot better. And I'm happy with it. So, there's that. Okay, this is something else I want to start getting into. And that is doing, servicing my sewing machine. Because my sewing machine serves me whenever I want it to. It's always here for me. So... I want to be able to clean it and do what needs to be done. I have three and one oil. So, the first thing we're going to do is take our foot off. And I'm going to put it over here so I don't lose it. We're going to take and unscrew the, uh, the thing here. Boy, I'll tell you what, I the screwdriver works better. I wonder where the screwdriver is that comes with it. There it is. There we go. So we're going to take it out.
property. Can you see all that right there? We are about to clean it out. Look how nasty it is. You see how I've got everything off? The needle, the everything completely off so I can get right down in there. Now I'm going to take this right here out. Now remember how you take this out. The, they have some little brushes right back there in the back. Let me get my... Right here are some little brushes. Now we want to make sure we put them back right there. Okay? All right, so let's put you up here, and y'all going to start seeing how much junk I get out of here. So let's get this out. Now with this right here, just take your uh, pair of tweezers and just go over it, you, or your fingernail, either one, and go over it. You don't want to do too much to it because you may damage it. Then we'll put it in our little tub there. Now I got these right here kind of little tweezers. They um, come from uh, the Dollar Tree. So, I'm a Dollar Tree freak. I like Dollar Tree. Alright. I guess you are ready to find out how much gunk is going to come out of that. So, here we go. Okay, we have got it down to there. I think it looks a whole lot better than it did. But look at all that stuff down in there. There's not much you could do with uh, all the lint that is uh -oh, right over here. Let me find where I'm at here. Do, do, do. Right down in here. There's not too much you can do about that kind of lint. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have just a regular paintbrush. Just a regular old paintbrush. And I'm just going to start cleaning it out. Doing like this right here. You see the dirt that's coming out over here? Look at all that dirt. Okay. Just cleaning it out. Trying to get what I can off of it. Alright. Now I want to try to get right in this right here. A little circle. Right in here. Because there's a bunch of gunk in there. Yeah, it looks so much better. Alright. Now. Here's how much I got out of my... See how much garbage is in there? So, you got to clean it out once a month. And that's one of the things I'm going to start doing. Is at the first of the month, I'm going to start doing taking care of my sewing machine. And my iron, and all that good stuff. Now, let's put this bad baby back together again. So I'm going to start putting my stuff up as I go. So now I have this right here. Let's see if I can get any of this lint off the side here. We do not want to take this little bitty tiny 
to find where you're at here. Get my. You don't want to take. Make sure you don't take this off. You've got to have that on there. Okay. And now we want to put it back underneath there the same way we got it out. See, and, and if you look right here, get my pointer. Okay, right here. You see this right here thing turns? And if you butt it up right against this right here thing right here, and all you got it in there right as long as this right here fuzzy thing is always in the back. So now let's continue on and let's put this thing back together again. You want to put it back together like you got it, it like it came out. There we go. Alrighty. Now some of these sewing machines has two different types of screws. Fortunately, mine are the same. So it doesn't matter which one they go in. And then we're going to screw them down in there. Start putting this thing back together again. Uh, where's my screwdriver? Hopefully this one here will work. I'm going to have to <clears throat> see if I can't get somebody to make me a small screwdriver for this. <clears throat> Find me a small screwdriver. Because this right here is a pain in the dairy air. too good on my thumb. Okay, now we are back to that part. Now, <clears throat> We want to put, uh, uh, this right here back on, and it goes, well, let's put the screw in there first. trouble putting the screw in. There we go. I was going it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. So, now then. We have that. Now where's my screwdriver? God, I haven't I ain't done yet. I have a habit of putting my stuff back up when I'm doing all this stuff. Okay, now we're going to tighten that down. Now we're going to put our needle back in and we're going to tighten it down all right now then the next thing we want to do is we want to put our three and one oil in there and I'm going to let it set the rest of the day with no use whatsoever so it can leak down inside where it's supposed to go now we have, I can't even get it off, we have holes, and right here is a hole back here, right here, right here, and right here, and these are the holes that we want to put them in, and no other holes, that just take a drop, stick it down in there, like that right there, and let it sit the rest of the day. And when you come back, you just put your pressure foot back on. 
And if you want to, you can put it on now because it ain't going to hurt a thing to put it on right now. Then that way you have that one done. But the rest of it, you want to wait. I don't want to lose my lid. So I'm going to put my lid on so I don't lose that. And I'll put the rest of the stuff right here so I can be able to do the rest of it whenever I come back. And that's just putting the bob in. Other than that, you are done. But let it sit here a day before you start sewing on it again. So that all that oil can make it down in the bottom of it. So, there's another thing we got done today.